Hello everyone, welcome back to Molly B channel, where you can learn more interesting info about your favorite actors and athletes. In today's video, we'll be discussing the career and some interesting facts of Dolph Ziggler. American professional wrestler and stand-up comedian Dolph Ziggler was born on July 27, 1980 in Cleveland, Ohio as Nicholas Theodore Nemeth. He is currently signed to WWE, where he performs on SmackDown brand under the ring name Dolph Ziggler. Overall, in WWE, he has held 14 total championships. Sports Illustrated described Ziggler as phenomenal in the ring. Nemeth was born together with his two brothers. His younger brother Ryan is also a professional wrestler, currently working for All Elite Wrestling and previously worked with WWE and wrestled in NXT under the ring name Riley Pierce. His other brother, Donald, was sentenced to 15 years after pleading guilty for involuntary manslaughter, kidnapping and robbery. From 2009 to 2011, Nemeth was romantically linked to Nikki Bella, a former two-time WWE Divas Champion. Nemeth is the date actress Amy Schumer back in 2012. Their relation was later called off because Schumer considered Nemeth too athletic. As of 2021, his girlfriend is American wrestler Ashley Mae Severa, who is known in the ring as Dana Brooke. They began dating sometime in 2015. Nemeth has been a fan of professional wrestling since he was 5 years old and he decided to become a professional wrestler at the age of 12. Nemeth attended St. Edward High School where he was an amateur wrestler, holds a school record for most pins in the career with 82, and his team won the national championships on two occasions. Nemeth continued with the same when he joined the Kansas State University. He set the record for most career wins in the team history and is now second of all time. Nemeth's career breakthrough was in 2004 after signing a contract with World Wrestling Entertainment WWE in 2004. Right after he was about to join Arizona State University to pursue law, he was assigned to their developmental territory Ohio Valley Wrestling OVW, debuting as Nick Nemeth. He was promoted to WWE's Raw brand shortly afterwards in 2005 and was sent back to OVW shortly afterwards, being given the name Nikki and joining the cheerleading-themed Spirit Squad who debuted on Raw in January 2006 and won the World Tag Team Championship once before returning to OVW that November. In September 2007, Nemeth was assigned to Florida Championship Wrestling FCW when he won the FCW Florida Tag Team Championship twice with Brad Allen and later Gavin Spears. Upon his return to the main roster in September 2008, Nemeth was repackaged as Dolph Ziggler. Since then, he has held the World Heavyweight Championship twice, the Intercontinental Championship six times, the United States Championship twice, the Raw Tag Team Championship twice, the SmackDown Tag Team Championship once. Overall, in WWE, Nemeth has held 14 total championships. As of 2021, Dolph Ziggler net worth is about $5 million. That is mostly through his wrestling career. When WWE called him back to main roster after Spirit Squad's bell, Nick Nomad needed a name and he went to his friends for advice. One of his friends came up with the name Ziggler and Nick liked it. 
Dob was the name of his great grandfather, and it joined them together to produce his ring name. The success of the name is still up for a debate, as once Mickey Foley said that Ziegler would have a tough time succeeding with a name like this. Why we know all about Ziegler's talents in the wrestling ring, most of us are not aware about his spare time hobby of being a stand-up comedian. Ziegler has already held numerous shows and has a good reputation in the area. When his first show came back in June 2013 in Los Angeles, and Ziegler then went on to collaborate with some television writers so that he could improve his lines. Ziegler is pretty serious when it comes to stand-up comedy and might take it as a career path if it quits professional wrestling. Else, he would keep it as a good retirement plan, just like Mick Foley did. Ziegler is fluent in American Sign Language. And that's all for today, and we hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below if you have any recommendations for our channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe to support us. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.